God's word needs to be preached clearly, distinctly, and plainly. And if it's not, the result is confusion. Number one, there is confusion about salvation. And I'll tell you why. People are getting a mixed message and it's confusing them. It's confusing them. You see, there's nothing confusing about this. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have eternal life. There's nothing confusing about that. There's nothing confusing about for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works lest any man should boast. There's nothing confusing about, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. There's nothing confusing about that. There's nothing confusing about whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. There's nothing confusing about whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. God dwelleth in him and he in God. There's nothing confusing about the fact that the Bible says, What must I do to be saved? And the answer is, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. See, there's nothing confusing about he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. But he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on. There's nothing confusing about John 6.47. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. There's nothing confusing about Jesus saith unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. There's nothing confusing about verily, verily, I say unto thee, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed. From death unto life. There's nothing confusing about salvation when he said, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. There's nothing confusing about the gospel. There's nothing confusing about salvation. But the reason people are confused is because they're getting a mixed message. Because one minute it's all faith, and then the next minute it's repent of your sins. Yeah, that's right. It's confusing. Which one is it? You say, repenting of your sins is part of faith. Liar! No, it isn't. Because repenting of your sins has to do with your sins, and faith has to do with believing in Jesus. They're two totally different things. That's right. Amen. You see, repenting of your sins is something you should do every day. Die daily. Take up the cross daily. Crucify the flesh daily. Take up the cross and follow Him daily. That happens every day. It's not something that happens one time at salvation. See, salvation is not turning over a new leaf. Salvation is not you turning away from sin. And people say this, turn from sin to the Savior. But wait a minute now. Have you turned from sin? Who can stand up and say, I'm pure from sin? No one. 